The Forbidden Curses are some of the most powerful spells in Hogwarts Legacy, but what if we could make our existing spells just as powerful? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. What's going on witches and wizards? Welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at your normal spells but more importantly the traits in which you put on your gear because this is something that's really going to enhance your spells. Now today we're going to be looking at Expelliarmus just as an example but you can do this to any of the spells that come on these traits. And you can see there I've got one trait assigned to my hat there which is the Disarm in level 3, which significantly increased damage with Expelliarmus. Now, it doesn't have to be a level 3 um, trait. It can be a level 1, it can be a level 2, whatever it is you've got, whether you're early game or mid game or late game. Um, so right now, what we're going to do is I've got my gear set on. I've only got the one booster to Expelliarmus on right now. And I'm just going to go and find a troll here and just show you the level of damage that I'm currently doing to the troll with that one Expelliarmus uh, trait put onto my hat. So let, there he is, Mr. Troll. Let's go down and say hello and let's check out how much damage we do. So just check this out. So little, that wasn't it there. That's a little, little normal spell, dodge the rock. Okay, he's stunned. So we're gonna do extra damage here because he's stunned. Look how much damage Expelliarmus does. Okay, takes it down, I would say around about a quarter, just under a quarter worth of damage when he was stunned. And that's just that's by having the one trait on the hat, okay? So again, we stunned him again. We're gonna do Expelliarmus. There, you see the amount, of, you see the damage on the damage bar at the top. How much it's taking off? It's doing a good amount of damage because obviously we've got that single trait on. But there is something which we're gonna do in a moment, which is gonna really change the dynamic on how much damage we're gonna do with this spell. Because at the moment, I would say the spell's kind of performing as it should. It's doing a bit of extra damage. That's great. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to enhance it to make it like super, super strong. So let's just finish off this cave troll here. And uh, we'll go and show you exactly how you go about doing that. So enough, one quick stun, one Expelliarmus, and he should be finished. Bye-bye. That's the end of the troll. Okay, great. So the question is, how do you go ahead and make your, your Expelliarmus spell even stronger than that? Well, the answer is you have to go back to the um, loom and put more of the uh, traits on. Just because you've got like one of them, it doesn't mean you can only put it on one piece of gear. You can actually put the same trait on every piece of gear. Um, and it does stack. And this is something I wasn't sure whether it did or not. Does the damage stack if you put traits on every bit of gear? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> and you don't have to do it with Expelliarmus. Like I say, you can do it with Laceration. You can do it with in you know, Incendio. You can do it with Bombarda. You can do this with um, even the vegetables, like the, the, the uh, Chinese chomping cabbages and the mandrakes that to make them do extra more extra damage. So like you can even do it with that as well. Um, and really, kind of, you know, whatever your gameplay, what style is, go for that particular spell. That's what I would say. Personally, I like using Expelliarmus because it kind of makes me feel like the chosen one, you know, <laughs> having a really uh, powerful um, Expelliarmus spell. But you're going to see the difference once we get these traits on as far as how much damage it's going to do. So let's just take one look at the gear. You can see here that I've now equipped the Disarm in 3, which is the significantly increased damage with Expelliarmus onto all six pieces of my gear. Okay, fantastic. Now we're ready to go find another troll. Now the troll I just thought is dead and went back there and he was gone. So I went to another location to find another troll and this one just down here. And we'll get in here and I'll, you, you're gonna be really shocked when you see the amount of damage it does on this troll, cause I was, I didn't realize it was gonna stack until I hit this troll and saw the damage, how much it went down. So check this out. First of all, we're gonna hit it without stunning it. Okay, now on the other one, it didn't do much at all. That was quite a significant increase, that bit of damage there, because he's not even stunned. We're gonna stun him in a second though, and then you're gonna see the real damage this thing can do. So here comes a rock, can we, no, hang on. There he is, now watch this. Bang, look how much life went down. Oh my goodness. His life went down by like over two thirds. Absolutely 
huge increase in the amount of damage that done. And that's on Expelliarmus, which, to be fair, isn't the most damaging spell. If I'd have put that on one of the other, like, Bombarder or something, I reckon it would have been a one-hit kill. So you pretty much will be able to one-hit kill trolls with, like, a more powerful normal spell traded up like this on your gear. So really good stuff. I mean, this is against a troll. This has probably got the most HP as far as enemies go in the game. Um, when it comes to fighting other enemies, literally Expelliarmus becomes like, it basically becomes Avada Kedavra. <laughs> it's literally a one hit kill. I'm just gonna fly down here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we've still got all the traits on. Whole bunch of enemies. Bang, that's an Expelliarmus. That's an insta kill on that first goblin. And we're just gonna wait for it to recharge. I'm gonna take this whole group of goblins out. And these are like level 35, 30, 35 goblins. And I'm going to take them all out of Expelliarmus for the most part. Let's go ahead and use um, a yellow spell on this one here. <laughs> there it is. Get him up in the air. Nice. And then Expelliarmus. Bang. There it is. One hit kill. Beautiful. It really works really, really well. I would highly recommend you doing this, guys. Once you do pick up uh, the trait that you want, then stack it. And you get the traits from the goblin camps or from the uh, poacher camps. So make sure you do take out the enemies in the poacher camps and get the chest because that's where the runes are inside the chest inside the poacher camp. So make sure you do do that, okay? And uh, there you go. That's Expelliarmus making you the chosen one. I hope you enjoyed the video and it does these this tip does help you out. If it did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.